The N100 is a processor with its value unmatched. Not only is it decent for Windows applications, but it sits in the sweet spot when it comes to emulation. Recently, GMK Tech went viral, selling these in mainland China at $83. But is this any good? Let's find out. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribe. So the mini PC we got today was sent to us for video review. No money was exchanged and all opinions are our own. If you use the coupon code Pandora G3, you can currently get the bare bones version shipped for $99. I like these. I rub them on my nipples. Let's open it up. Magic fingers. So the outside is protected by a few layers of bubble wrap and inside a very presentable box. So this mini PC has Windows 11 Pro, 8 gig RAM and 512 gig storage. And here it is. So it looks pretty similar to most GMK Tech mini PCs, but rather than the case being metal, this one is solid plastic and it's in army green. In the box we get a manual and as we're in the Japanese region, this one's in Japanese, English and Chinese. We get a warranty card. This one has two sides. A power adapter. This one's got a barrel jack and it's good for 12 volts, three amps. One and a half meter HDMI cable. A VESA mount, in case you want to attach the PC to the back of your monitor. And here's the mini PC. First impressions, it looks and feels a little cheap. That's due to the uniform green used and the weight of the unit. It's actually much lighter than the previous G2. Let's have a closer look. On the front of the case, we have a pinhole for BIOS reset, a power switch, and two USB 3.2 ports. And these are capable of going up to five gigabits a second. Moving to the right, we have uh, holes. And on the back, we have multiple ports, including where the air gets blown out. There's HDMI 2.0, two more USB 3.2 ports, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN, another HDMI 2.0, three and a half mil audio jack, a DC power jack, and finally, the Kensington lock. On the other side, there's more air holes, which is continued underneath. So air gets sucked into here, directly into the heatsink fan. There's also some labels and two screw holes for the VESA mount. In order to use this mount, we need to take off two of the rubber feet and secure it by using a small posi driver. Insert two of the included screws here and two more at the back of the monitor. But if you don't want to hide it away, it is actually quite small. It sits in between the GMK Tech G2 and the Larkbox X 2023 by Chewy. If you're still a bit unsure of the size, here's a rechargeable AA battery. It's about double the AA in length and around the same size as the AA in height. Here's a DMG Game Boy and a Roy Bosch tea bag. So let's have a quick look at the specs. This one's armed with the N100 processor, which we've covered a few times on the channel. We have 8GB of DDR4 memory, and it's nice to see an NVMe SSD included. There is an extra SATA M2 slot for storage, but we can see where GMK Tech decided to cut down on costs, mainly the absence of USB-C for power and no second NVMe slot. So let's test it out. We're gonna be using the Logitech K400 keyboard. When we first turn on, we'll have the Windows setup screens. It's really straightforward. We just need to set language and region. Then five to 10 minutes later, we're ready to go. First thing we'll do is connect to the internet and this will automatically activate Windows so we can update to the latest patches and security updates. I usually use Ninite.com to download some free tools for graphics, office, and even security like antivirus and anti-spyware. And this mini PC had no issues at all. We can make spreadsheets for our university projects, create inspiring works of art, comparable to the greats like Picasso and Monet. Or we could do some online shopping. Seriously, the chair I'm using is falling apart. Listen, can you hear that? When it comes to video streaming, 4K and YouTube runs great. And while we can watch Netflix in HD, the Hidekapur 2.2 DRM decoder is not included. So the 4K and Netflix and Amazon Prime will need an alternative solution, maybe by using the HDMI splitter trick. Let's check out some benchmarks. Here's the SSD. And while it's not exactly bad, it shows that the slot is only running at PCIe 3 X2. And if we compare it to the competition, we can see it's quite fast for a budget mini PC. The G3 pulls ahead of the G2 in Geekbench, and as it's larger, it manages to stay cooler, being less prone to thermal throttling on the load. And in Time Spy, the G3 continues in second place, probably due to the slower DDR4 memory. We have no issues connecting our controller via Bluetooth, and I think it's about time we play some games. We'll start in Steam with Chime Sharp. Fez. While these parts do slow down to around 45 FPS, the game itself runs really well. Oh 
want to hear from sweaty savage men tonight unless they look like sexy sweaty ladies. Dig us up and out. Gross. My, you know your tunes, Paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Here's Shadow Warrior. To get it playable, we turn on graphics to 720p medium. Always bring a katana to a gunfight. I'd also a gun. Yakuza Zero. In 720p low settings, we're getting around 40 to 45 FPS. Playable, but not ideal. Grid Autosport. And Counter Strike 2. At 720p, low quality settings, it started off playable, but eventually slowed down to a slideshow. The bias to this mini PC is extremely thorough. There are plenty of settings, but the only one we wanted to change was the fan threshold, so it turned on much sooner. If you want to boot up to a Linux distro like Batacera, this mini PC eats it up. Batacera provides us with a quick and easy front end for a game emulation box. First up, arcade games with Killer Instinct. Tekken Tag Tournament. King of Fighters 11. Virtua Cop. Good race. That's a Michael Jackson Moonwalker. Moving on to computers now, it's Commodore 64. Atari ST Commodore Amiga MS Dolls Let's go for the end. Moving on to the consoles now, here's some Sega Saturn. Sega Dreamcast. PlayStation. PSP upscale to five times resolution. PlayStation 2, upscale to 720p.
N64. GameCube. Nintendo Wii. A Nintendo Wii U. While this game mostly plays at full speed, we do have some dips when the camera moves out. Either way, it's very playable, and we're at the limit of this mini PC. Let's have a quick look inside. The top is very easy to pull off. We're given a Lexar and M620, and also DDR4 by Whoopersip. They're not soldered in, so we can easily take them out and switch them. We also have a spare slot in the center. It won't house an NVMe, but if you have a slower 2242 SATA drive handy, you can pop it in here. Here's a quick look at the DDR4 memory, and it's rated at a speed of 3200 megahertz. And the choice of NVMe is also quite interesting. It's a PCIe 3x4 NVMe, whereas the slot can only deliver half of that at 3x2. Here's a Wi-Fi controller, a Realtek 8852BE. Unfortunately, the bottom is quite difficult to get to. The only way we can do this is by removing the screws here in the corners, then prying out the plastic with a flathead screwdriver. Unfortunately, there's a notch in the case which stopped us in our tracks. When idle, it draws around 8 watts from the wall, and it's a very quiet mini PC. And when it's under load, around 22, and it sounds a bit like this. And here it is, at full power. So what do we think of the GMK Tech G3? Well, this mini PC is extremely good value for money. It's snappy in Windows, with its second storage slot, it'd be ideal as an emulation box. As for the cons, the absence of PCIe 3x4 is a bit of a shame. If we'd have had two of these slots, we'd be able to overcome the shortfalls of the N100 and wire this up to an external GPU. The GMK Tech G3 is an incredibly affordable mini PC. While it's not great for newer games, it's perfect for students, families, and someone looking for an upgrade for their Raspberry Pi emulation box. As we finish up, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Here at Team Pandori, we make video reviews like this, as well as video guides, and help fix them cheap arcade boxes and the A500 Mini. If you want to support our work, please jump on, or a simple like and subscribe would help us tremendously. Anyway, this has been Nimi Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Do you like squeezing nipples? I am very experienced.